Hey, this video is about how to do a backside stall on your roller skates. The backside stall, I know there's like different people use different terms for different things, but from what I learned it as, backside stall is when you are skating forward in the transition, you make a 180 turn, whichever direction you prefer to turn, and you land on the coping with your backside facing out towards the deck. That's backside. Really? So I think the first step to, to backsides is learning how to just make 180, little 180 jumps. They don't have to be big 180 jumps in the transition below the coping. So if you haven't learned how to do that, check out the video Kevin did about carving and jumping on a transition, because um, that goes over the basics of 180 jumps. And once you feel really solid in your 180 jumps, then I think the next step is to try to do a 180 jump out of the transition, not onto the coping, over the coping, and land on the deck. So I tend to break tricks down into really small stages. You might be the kind of person who can just get a trick like first try, no problem, first time you ever wanted to do it in your life. But I tend to break it down in steps and try it YouTube out. Channel. So I'm gonna show you how I kind of learned how to jump out. All right? Is that it. a YouTube video? Let's see it. So, yes sir. So we, I tend to lead with my left foot and turn to the left, that's my natural direction. If you lead with your right foot, you'll probably find turning to the right is easier for you. So you do you, it's better for you. But when I jump out, I'm gonna make a turn with my whole body and I like to land on the toe stops just so I don't roll out. But you might be able to land on the wheels too or a combination of wheels and toe stops. So when I jump out, my head and shoulders turn first followed by my hips and feet. All right, so I'm looking at the deck over the coupling where I wanna turn, head, shoulders, hips, feet. Mm -hmm. And practice that like till you feel really super solid with it. You're looking at the deck where you wanna go landing on the deck over jump it please. over jumping it so you know you definitely can land on the coping because you're going beyond the coping all right so then the next step well for me at least was to make it a bit more precise getting one foot on the coping one foot on the deck and i'm going to show that now so again because i lead left turn left my left foot's going to land on the coping right foot or toe stop on the deck and again i'm looking where i want to go now my eyes are starting to look at that coping and I'm turning like three quarters of the way up the ramp. My shoulders and head are already starting to turn to you know, really get myself in that alignment so that the hips and the feet follow. So as soon as we have passing, you're, you're good. We will go and on. One foot, I see. One foot, I'm looking at the coping, landing one foot on, looking at the coping, landing one foot on, one foot behind, you know? You can practice that. that over and over till you really drill it in. You know, just like the, the first step jumping out, then one foot on the coping, and then once you feel comfortable in your own timing, you can start trying to land both feet on the coping. So you want to keep your knees soft, so you absorb it, look at the coping again, and you're turning with your head, shoulders, hips, feet. When you, when you land on it, try to squat a little bit, so you kind of like drop your butt and kind of hold that position, looking at the coping. Looking at the coping. I see how you crouch down, yeah. You really drop into it. Drop down, yeah. So the backside stall can turn into a lot of other tricks um, and slides and so forth. So it's a really good skill to learn. So hopefully that's useful. Again, some of y'all might learn things just like that right off the bat, which is awesome. But some of y'all might be like me and learn in slow stages. And that's fine too. Just learn at your own pace. But hopefully that's useful. And please um, comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks.